head coach Jason Beverlin. He had come away with a run rule victory over Savannah State. Started out a little bit shaky, but the Wildcats came through in the end. You know, talk about what you saw out here from the guys. You know, Montana coming, uh, starting on short rest. Um, you know, he had done it last year in the tournament, and he was excellent last year. We expected the same thing today, and struggled a little bit. And you know, it's one of those deals where the guys really picked him up today. Um, you know, it, it was great to see. There, there had been times throughout the year that, um, you know, he picked them up, and it was great to see them have his back today when, you know, he didn't have his best stuff come through with uh, scoring a lot of runs. Now, once the Wildcats got rolling, you know, was that not necessarily a surprise, but were you expecting them to roll at that level once they got it moving? No, we did a great job. Uh, you know, it was just one barrel after another. Guys were hitting the ball hard. You know, even early in the game, before we had that big inning, uh, thought a lot of our outs were loud, and you know, guys were doing a good job hitting the ball hard and using the whole field. And you know, with this game being against essentially the rematch of last year's championship game, you now what does that mean to the team? in this tournament as they're trying to capture a championship? Uh, I think it was important, but even more importantly, you know, th this game was big for both teams in the respect that, uh, you know, you win today, you have uh, two chances to win one game. You lose that game and you have to win three in a row. So it, uh, it definitely puts us in the driver's seat and just got to go out tomorrow and, and continue to play well. Josh Johnson, senior on this team. Wildcats had a, the right hitting game at the right time. Uh, and you definitely had a, a hand in that, a two for four batting, three RBI. Now, why was this game in particular so important for the Wildcats to get that win? Um, uh, we faced the Man State again, who you know uh, beat us last year in the championship. So we always have a grudge when we play against them. And I felt like the team had a lot of energy. Coming out, they knew we were on a mission to get to get the job done, get past Savannah, save our pitching, save our team energy, so we can uh, <clears throat> have the two-game advantage for tomorrow's championship. All right. Now, with the loss in last year's championship game, when you get that final out, especially on a great play, is that a sense of relief that you get that monkey off your back a little bit? Well, it's not over yet. We still got to win the championship. Um, so of course we still got to win tomorrow, but every time we beat Savannah State, it, you know it feels great. Because of the grudge that we have against them, uh, the rivalry between our two schools, or our two teams actually, I think it's more between the baseball team than anything. So it always feels great to beat them, and j Rob had a, a heck of a play at the end of the game to, to finish it off with Scott Dillon, so it was great to see. Anything to add? Uh-huh. Well, go on to tomorrow and play with a lot of energy and try to get a, a championship. Zach Olszewski had a big day at the plate, and the Wildcats had a big win here in the uh, semi-final game against Savannah State. You know, you've had some strong outings in the past uh, couple of weeks, been coming on strong. What has changed about your approach in that, in that time? Uh, I mean, I'm just seeing the ball really well. Uh, just trying to stay inside it, have a good team approach, good team at bat. Uh, I'm not really trying to do anything for myself. It's all about the team at this point, especially coming to the tournament. Um, I mean, pretty much just about the team right now and just having a good team at bat. Now, as a freshman, you didn't go through last year's championship game, but as an underclassman, what does this win mean to you? I mean, it's huge, especially hearing everything from everybody that was on the team last year. Uh, the heart, I mean, the feelings that were, I mean, gone against yesterday, last year against Savannah. I mean, it was a huge win for us. I mean, especially the seniors uh, going off on a good note, I guess, but especially against Savannah. Scott Garner entered in relief in the semifinal game against Savannah State. Good outing, just one hit, no runs. Took us to that run rule victory. How did you feel being able to come in in that key situation and take care of business? Yeah, it was awesome to get in there against Savannah State. Beat us last year. You know, we have a lot of a lot of reasons to beat them. I'm glad I was able to come in. We got that tenth run. Seventh inning came along. Anyways, you just had to shut it down. Those strikes. Now, from doing other interviews, I hear a lot about picking up Montana, who had. You know, a short rest, but a tough outing. Came in, you shut the door behind him. You know, 
as a classmate and a teammate, how important is it to you to be able to seal that off for him? Yeah, I mean, that, that 11th win for Montana was big, and I knew that coming in there, you know. Anytime a player on your team is doing that good, you really want to help them out. And as well as a team, just wanted to make it to the championship with, without getting a loss in the tournament. Now, as a senior, as somebody who was on last year's team that you know missed the championship ring because of the Savannah State uh, 10th inning walk-off, how good is it to get this win and then move on unscathed into the championship final? It's great. I mean, for the past seniors last year, they're all good friends of mine, and it's a big win for the program. 